You're trading pain for upgrades. Actual upgrades. Cool? Cool. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. My name is Matthew Holland, and by the age of 25, I manage multi-million dollar software solutions for the Department of Defense. And now my goal is to teach you all the tests, tips, and tricks to actually make you successful and get what you want in life. Today we're gonna today we're gonna talk about how to get actual useful feedback. Here's the thing with most people when it comes to feedback it's usually a difficult conversation okay they have to tell you things that you're bad at and no one likes telling people what they're bad at why because people don't know how to take that information no one likes to feel bad no one likes to be told that they're not good at something everyone wants to be amazing sucks that's not how the world works and you have to be sucky before you can be good this being said there is a way around it the way you get around that rough conversation is you give them permission to hurt your feelings. I am not telling you this from a, you should do this. I'm strictly telling you, this is how I do it. And this is how I've got results. And this is how I have got genuinely useful feedback to improve faster than anyone else. From my perspective, there are a couple caveats that come with this. One, you have to gain thick skin, okay? You cannot bark back when they tell you the things that you don't want to hear because those things that you don't want to hear are the exact reason why you're not doing as good as you want to be. So you need to you need to bite that bullet. Okay? If you if you and it doubles down, if you do bark back, well then now they they won't listen to you. Like they they'll actually keep feelings inside the mix. You won't actually know whether like the feedback is honest or not or you'll have to do more digging and that adds more time to the equation. The second piece, you absolutely have to mean it when you tell them this. Now granted, what are you gonna tell them? Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. The thing that I do when I ask these people for feedback is that I will tell them to give me brutally honest feedback. I want 100% honesty. I want to completely omit feelings from what they're about to tell me. What that does is it gives them permission to hurt my feelings. It gives them permission to not take my feelings into account. And it gives them permission to actually just cut all the bullshit and give me only the stuff that will help me improve. Why? Feelings get in the way of getting your honest intentions sometimes. People don't know how to put things in a nice way and rather than try to figure it out or take a minute, they just sugarcoat things and sometimes the sugarcoating is too much. It is what it is. By omitting feelings from the conversation, you allow them to just straight up say whatever it is that they need to say and then you get to look at that objectively and be like, is this something I want to absorb or is this something I don't want to absorb? Sorry, I don't want to absorb, I do want to absorb. So this is the part where, you know, I, I kind of went out of order here, but that's the part where like once you, once you ask them, give me honest feedback, I'm giving you permission to hurt my feelings. You have to mean it. You 100% have to mean it. If you do not mean it, then they will still sprinkle, like they'll still sugarcoat it, just not as much as they were going to before. At least this is what I do. I, I, I put it in a way where they actually feel like I want them to hurt me. I want them to make me cry. I, I literally say these things. I'm like, I want you to make me cry. I want you to try and make me quit this. I want you to try and make me whatever. Like, like just, I want you to crush me as a person. Granted, some people will actually do that. And then it comes down to like sifting of, of do they actually mean it? like use use your your discretion you know like you use your own judgment but when you give them the permission to say what they actually feel and say what you need to hear you'll get the feedback you need and then it comes down to are you going to absorb it or not but that's on your end rather than having to cut through the sugar coating layer and then figure out if you're going to absorb it, you can just skip to the absorbing part or not absorbing. It's up to you at that point. I found that sifting through trolls, and this is because you know on the internet, sifting through trolls or just non-constructive criticism is easier than trying to sift through emotion. That might be me personally, but that's what I've found. If you're looking for growth-minded, success-oriented individuals that will actually give you feedback to help, uh, join my school community or the Facebook group. We have both of them now. Link is in the description and that's it. That's all I wanted to tell you. These are the things that I found for me. My name is Matthew Holland. Thank you so, so much for joining me once again. I will see you in the next one.